Hey everybody, it's Crazy Bean Carol. How you doing? Today I have an unboxing from thecubicle.com. To get started with this unboxing, I want to give a big thank you to thecubicle.com for sending me this package for free. Anyways, let's open it up. So in the package we have the Yuxiao EDM and the Cubicle Labs Silk. Alright, so this is the Yuxiao EDM. Alright, let's just open the package. So just to stop, we have this card here. Then we have the actual cube. So what's actually special about this puzzle is that it has an adjustable magnet system. It comes uh, with this little box, so let's just open it up. All right, so here we have the sort of tensioning tools that I've seen before. We have two tensioning tools here, uh, which are for different parts of the cube. An extra core, a screwdriver, which is attached to these magnets. But right now, I'm just going to put this back into this little box because I want to set it aside and actually take a look at the cube. Alright, so here is the cube. It comes in this box, which I have seen before. Let's just open it up. Alright, and here is the cube. The first thing I notice is that it is pretty small, uh, not like your normal 3x3. So yeah, I actually have just a regular Wobo and Yuxiao from a while back, uh, but let's just try this out right now. So the first thing I'm noticing is that it is uh, very hollow. Like if you just listen to it, it just sounds very hollow and it's super light. It doesn't have a really buttery feeling. It's also pretty scratchy. If we just pop a piece out really quick, you can uh, take the piece apart and you can actually see the magnets in this little slot right here, which is the cool adjustable part of this cube. Whoops. Uh, so that's actually really cool and unique. So I'm definitely going to have to play around with that adjustable magnet system. But just from my first impressions as of right now, I'm not really sure how I'm liking this cube. I like that it's smaller and light, um, but I don't like how hollow it feels. Like there are cubes that can be light but don't feel like hollow. I feel like I could crush this with my hands if I really wanted to because it just it feels very empty. It feels like a skeleton. Though I do really like the adjustable magnet system idea and I just messed up an H-perm. I think that it's really interesting and pretty innovative the way that they were able to figure out a way to make an adjustable magnet system. I'll definitely do some solves on it and just break it in and my opinion might change but as of right now I'm really not the biggest fan. Alright let's actually move on to this lubricant which is the Cubicle Lab Silk. Now there are, there has been a silk lubricant before as many of you guys know, though that was a lubricant silk I believe and this one is a cubicle lab silk. I never got the original silk so I don't really know if this is going to compare to that or how similar they'll be, but I'm excited to try this out because a lot of people did like the original silk. So here it is, it also has this little paper, let's read it out. The cubicle is proud to reintroduce cubicle lab silk. This reformulated lube is produced by Cubicle Labs and promises the same plush feel and sound as the previous silk formula. Familiar feel redesigned. So obviously, as you can tell, this has been redesigned, but I have a feeling it's going to have a soft sort of quiet feel because it is called silk. All right, let's just take a look at the actual bottle. It says new formula, same plush feel again. Instructions. Step one, put two drops in a puzzle. Step two, break in. Step three, enjoy. So it's pretty basic for a lubricant. One thing I do notice is that like this is 10 cc's but the thing isn't actually filled up all the way uh, which is a little strange. Uh, I've never had 10 cc of a puzzle or of a puzzle of a lubricant. I usually get 3 cc's because I don't set up my cubes like that heavily. I just put a few drops in and that's it. So I don't know if this is how it usually comes or what. But I'm going to just put this in some cubes and see how I like it. Let's start with the EDM. I'm actually very interested to see how this is going to turn out because it is a silk lubricant in a very what feels like a cheap, hollow, crispy, clacky puzzle. So yeah, let's just try it out. So it says to put two drops in. I'm just going to put it just directly on the pieces like right here. Let's just break it in. So right now it's feeling extremely uncontrollable. Though I think that is the cube's fault, not the silk's fault. With this cube, it's just not working. I don't know if I didn't put enough in, but I'm definitely not getting a soft feeling. Let's put it into my main cube, though I am a little afraid to do this because I did um, angstrom lube this puzzle. One drop, two drops. All right, let's break it in. 
See, I can definitely feel a different feeling on this cube uh, than the Yuxiao EDM. This one I can definitely feel what they mean by the plush feel. But yeah, I'm actually liking what I'm feeling for this cube, which leads me to think that this is going to work better for the more buttery cube just to enhance that sort of soft feeling. Uh, and maybe I won't use this so much for the clackier, crispier cubes. So those are my first impressions of the things I got in this package. So far, I'm not particularly liking this cube, but I will be playing with it a little bit more and working on that sort of adjustable magnet thing and see how it works out. Uh, I see a lot of potential with the silk for me, and I'm excited to try it out on different cubes and see how it works. Stay tuned for upcoming reviews. I will be reviewing this cube later on and will most likely be reviewing this silk as well. I feel like a lot of cubers don't do um, lubricant rev reviews, but I think they're pretty helpful. So yeah, that's about it for this video. Again, I want to give a big thank you to thecubicle.com for sending me these things for free to test out. If you want to purchase these two things, I will leave links in the description box down below and you can go and purchase them. But anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time on Crazy Bean Carol. Bye!